When trauma occurs in childhood, that is when the nervous system is going through a phase of rapid development. It always results in a dissociative disorder of some degree. The child must learn to live with the consequences of trauma, to adjust and to survive. This means that traumatizing experiences must be separated from everything else. In spite of this dissociation, the encapsulated trauma keeps on affecting your life, your relationships and the choices you make all the time. In other words, the personality is divided. It doesn't become integrated like it would in a safe environment, which is sensitive to child's needs. The effects of emotional damage are very individual and diverse. They can show in many different ways. It can also affect person's ability to defend oneself later on in life. This can lead to a circle of re-traumatization. From the perspective of structural dissociation and trauma, many psychological problems and disorders seem more logical and understandable. Understanding the theory of structural dissociation has changed my own life profoundly. This understanding helps me every day as traumatized people come to my practice. The most important insights I have gained, both as a patient and as a doctor, are related to the general principles in recognizing and understanding trauma. There are two of them, and they are structural dissociation and polyvagal theory.